morning. I thought what I'd do today, seeing as so many of you have asked me to, uh, is review my specialised Diverge Expert. But I say my, it's not actually mine. Um, I'm going to review this Specialised Diverge Expert that uh, I've been using this season. Uh, Specialised sent it to me to race on. I had some big events coming up and I was doing some shoots with my sponsors, such as ASOS. So um, they've lent me this for the season and I'm really hoping I don't have to give it back. In fact, if they want it back, I'm going to have to find some money to buy it because I love it. <coughs> So, it's a gravel bike and it's marketed as a gravel bike and um, I know some people think, oh gravel, it's just like the bike industry trying to remarket something that already exists and sell you more stuff. Well, okay, maybe, but who cares? Because the point is, through marketing gravel, I have taken this bike and gone off and had some of the best times that I've had in years. It's totally changed the kind of thing that I ride, the kind of thing that I enjoy. It's opened up my eyes to new, area, um, new routes in my area. I just went on the most amazing gravel ride this morning and there's all these other these bridleways that I've never been down before. I'm really, really, really loving it. So if gravel is a marketing ploy, well, whatever. It's made me feel happy and it's made cycling even more fun for me so fine anyway onto the bike sorry I will try and keep to the point this bike is made out of fact 9r carbon it's got the fact carbon fork as well so that's really really lightweight in fact the entire build as it's shipped is just over nine kilos I think it's 9.1 kilos um, now as you can see I have changed a few things I'm sponsored by zip so I've put the zip 303s on they are 40 I think 45 mil deep i think it's 45 is it 40 sorry i should have done my homework what 45, 45? <laughs> dave shouting out the window they're 45 mil deep these are really fast really lightweight as well and look really really cool um i've also changed the bars i've put on some wide bars these are 42 centimeters i would normally ride 38 and these wider bars give me more stability and make it more comfortable the Specialized actually ships with um, these bars that, flare bars, they go out at the bottom. Um, and they're pretty good if you're gonna do bike packing because it means that you can fit your big bike packing bag in the middle of the bars and it doesn't interfere with the levers uh, or shifting so much. So um, they're pretty cool, but um, I like my zip bars. So I'm gonna stick with them. Back to the frame. What Specialized have done here is they've actually made uh, the wheelbase a bit longer than their previous model and they have raised, sorry, lowered the bottom bracket. So that makes it a little bit more comfortable, which um, is great because gravel rides, you tend to be, they tend to be longer. Uh, with a cyclocross bike, for instance, you would have tighter, shorter um, wheelbase, higher bottom bracket, but you realistically, you're only gonna be riding a cyclocross bike for an hour gravel bike you want it to be comfortable and it is so comfortable so 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 comfortable I can't emphasize that enough so obviously a lot of the comfort comes from the future shock which gives you um, 20 mil of travel and um, at first I wasn't sure what to think about having um, built-in suspension on a kind of road style bike but whatever I gave it a go and it feels amazing I also wasn't sure what it would be like climbing if there'd be like a lot of bounce and you would lose a lot of your power um and you can feel it when you stand up certainly it's not as solid as without a future shock but it really doesn't seem to negatively impact my climbing too much at all and for the descents Wow, I mean, it's, it's brilliant. Um, often when I'm going out gravel exploring, I will accidentally go down um, something that's quite steep and rocky and ridiculous for a gravel bike, and um, the Specialized can handle it all. So, um, back to the future, sho future shock. Um, one other thing that's interesting about it is it's a progressive spring. So it's not like the same kind of um, oh, compression throughout. Uh, it gets more, there's more resistance. The, the, further the spring compresses so that stops it from bottoming out um, it also comes with two other springs you can switch it out for other um, tensions but I haven't done that I've just stuck with the one that it came with the other thing that makes it comfortable is this seat post um, so obviously that's got a lot of flex in it and that that helps add to the comfort the saddle I don't know what this is actually <laughs> 
I, I don't know what it is. It's specialised and I found it so comfortable that I've left it on there and normally I'm quite picky about saddles. This isn't a women's bike and that's not a women's saddle uh, so I should probably find out what that is. Uh, anyway, um, I have changed the crank set to my own SRAM one and um, I have... what else have I changed? Oh, nothing else because actually it comes with SRAM Force um, hydraulic disc brakes and it already had SRAM Force derailleur it is um an 11 speed one by 10 to 42 so you've got a giant sprocket at the back here so that makes it easier to get up hills uh top speed well i mean if i'm going down pretty steep hill then i'm going to spin out because i have actually put a smaller front chain ring on here i've got a 40 i wanted to make it easier to get up hills when i was in tuscany riding fully loaded with all my bike packing stuff got Got what? P knob. <laughs> Dave, Dave, Dave has been googling what the saddle is. He just shouted out the window. It's the specialised what? Body geometry. Specialised body geometry. P knob. P knob. P knob. V knob. P H E N O M. Do you think it's also death? Oh, phenom. Yeah, phenom. I don't know. Yeah, do you think death? <laughs> I, I I used to play in a metal band, so I can't hear very much. So I can't understand what Dave's saying. Do you know <laughs> anyway, what else to say about this? Well, obviously it's got through axles, as you would expect from a bike like this. Ah, oh, my tyres. I did change the tyres. Um, it's got clearance for up to 42 um, 42 C tyres, but it's tight. I've put on these WTB Nanos. They are 40 mil wide. And yeah, I mean, I'm not convinced you could get a 42 in there, but they say you can. I guess it depends on the tire and the tread. These, I fully, fully, fully recommend. WTB send me tires. They sent me a whole load of different gravel tires to try out. And the Nanos are the ones that I've stuck with. I've left them on my bike pretty much all season and I've done all different kinds of racing and riding. And they've really stood the test of time. Obviously the, these are tubeless, so, um, there's no inner tubes, I've got sealant in there, and um, very importantly, I learnt how to repair a hole in a tubeless tyre. That came in very, very useful when I was in Tuscany, so don't forget to learn how to fix tubeless tyres and take a tubeless repair kit with you if you're going to be riding this kind of bike. Um, I don't think there's a great deal left to say. I've already told you how much I love this bike, um, and if you want to see me riding it, then click this link and there's a video of me riding it in the peak district last week i'll film another one of me riding it down in down here in devon next week because i love it did i tell you that anyway any questions leave them below i love hearing from you guys and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe i'll tell you what i've had a bad week so say something nice and make me smile